So, you existed outside of time, and you came into time somewhere. You preceded time, but are yourself timeless. And right now you're nothing. And you're sort of searching all the universes and whatever's bigger than a universe, maybe universes within the multiverses, that's the 11th dimension. Uh, where do you, would you want to uh, hang your hat? Where would you want to uh, slow down uh, and have an experience of a process of growing old within the timeline? And that's why I'm telling you on here, you should come to Earth. Earth is a wonderful place. Um, you have no connection to any other planets. Uh, but it's in such a way that people were, from this primordial state, advanced and stretched and expanded all over to the ends of this world. And um, sort of diversified into uh, little cultures, but yet they somehow have to get along uh, to make it so. But the thing is, everybody has the will of want. And your wants come along with certain feelings. The, the feelings of the Cancer waters, the feelings of the Scorpio waters, and the feelings of the Pisces waters. And like the oceans, you will go through tides in your life. You will search the bottom of the sea or you can, you know, chill out on a, a lawn chair, not a lawn chair, whatever you have on the surface. See, that's, that's lie. That's, that's what this is good. There's no retakes in this. Because this would, if I would mess up in front of a camera, I would mess up in front of you, sort of. And it wasn't a mess up. It's sort of, uh, that's what my mind was thinking somehow. You connect a lawn chair with um, a floaty. Something like that. So these, these emotions are tied in directly what you want. Um, there is no way other than from a mental perspective uh, to connect back to the spiritual, back to the source, because what your brain does controls the rest of your body. And so if you have bad stuff going on in here, it's going to project and throw out. But if you have some sort of good neural connection, um, and it might not be totally positive to anybody, but it's going to be directly connected with your reward system, you're going to maybe face an addiction, and it's going to feel so good to your body that you're going to have to learn that despite what you think your best interest is at the time, it won't always be your best interest. So if you come to Earth, it's uh, totally about being tested and taking your pride, your your ego, sort of the thing that wants, wants, wants. It always has desires and its feelings, feelings of pain, feelings of torment, are going to be connected directly with that. And all these primordial people who've diversified and spread throughout this system, they have to somehow learn to get along and live creatively to do that. Because uh, on the surface level, if everybody's on a lawn chair, skimming the surface of the water, they're going to sink if they're in a lawn chair. But if they're in a floaty, if they learn how to turn that lawn chair into a floaty, the great alchemy of human existence, if the mind takes on that spiritual path, the body will feel it with all its, all its might. And that's why each person, whether it be in a lifetime or longer than we can comprehend, must come to that point where they realize that they messed up and they change the genesis of everything that they've ever once thought. And instead of being about defense, and instead of being about all my waters, all my wants, all my emotions, let it be for something more. 
instead of defense, you, you go on offense and, and you see all this going on in front of you. And each person, they'll say mean things about you. Uh, you'll think they'll think mean things about you. It'll be playing those mind games forever sort of thing up in the head. But there, there comes a point, though, each person sort of has this feeling within them, a feeling not of the senses, a feeling of beyond that there's something better. The, 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 there's always that smile behind a frown that, aha, this is for the good of a purpose. This is for the plan. It, this is all part of um, a jigsaw puzzle that, that, that we must do. And there is a risk v. reward that you know that if you follow only your ego that if you look all into yourself if you you want to hold the PlayStation controller the whole time and not let anybody else play because you want to toggle the switches and uh, punch cops and steal cars and watch them blow up and whatnot you're gonna be in direct conflict that means you have to change the nature of what you're born with it's this great it's great transformation that each person must go through, and it's a horrible, horrible, um, you face aspects in the sky and that will turn you against yourself with, within your head. You'll have a couple of people fighting back and forth, but once you take on that mode where you want to be proactive, you're going to be like, I was a walrus, now I'm John easier to be Puff than it is to be Sean. Uh, there you go. It's easier to be Puff than it is to be Sean. I was the walrus, now I'm John. That's that's the key to, to the whole existence here on Earth. And once you find it, it, it becomes um, uh, two paths. One being pushed around by the tides of the world, by the, the rotations of the moon. And then uh, the one where each day you wake up you get out of bed and it's you wander and you think and you look forward to and you trust in the plan you trust in everything that's going on all right